I need to put my reading glasses on. <laughs> so that's the first job. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. We're not knitting today, we're repairing knitwear. And this is a jumper that I've bought. I actually found it on eBay last year, so it's second hand. Um, but it's really good quality. I'm really thrilled with it. I absolutely love it with the star on it. So I want to keep wearing it, but a couple of things have happened. I know that these were both my fault. It's not moths. <laughs> I had a problem last year with a pair of scissors. Eek. <laughs> you can actually see I, um, if I open them up that it was literally eek. So that wasn't nice. It wasn't fair and I do apologise Jumper. The beauty of this being such a fine knit is that the stitches have actually kind of felt it just from being made, being knitted together as a fabric and the fibres have felted from just a few washes. It's not felted enough to change the size but it's felted enough to hold the holes in place. I do need to fix it before it all gets worse. What I'm going to do is very simply pick a yarn that's similar. This, I wish it was lighter, but I don't have a lighter grey available. This is a really ideal thing. It's got a little bit of ply to it, so I can open it up like that. And I will use one of these threads to do the sewing. Um, and if you want to join me along with that, then let's do this. I need to put my reading glasses on, otherwise I'm just going to sit here and get a migraine. There you go. So that's the first job. The second job I will show you this is a darning mushroom. Now this darning mushroom I got from my sewing box many 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 years ago. This must be 25 years old at least. You can use it for all sorts of things like I'm going to use it today on darning my knitwear. This is made for darning socks but I've used it for gloves, I've used it for all sorts of things and it really is a very helpful tool in my sewing kit. I'm really pleased that I got it. Um, so I will also use a small tapestry needle and of course I'm going to tell you that this has got a blunt end so it's not going to pierce the fibre anymore, not going to shred it or um, tear it any more than it's already broken. So that is a thing to note and I will just take say that's about 30 centimetres of yarn off of the top of that ball of yarn and I will unply it. Right, so I actually have got two pieces of thread if I need the second one. And I am just going to slightly twist this just so that it doesn't struggle and tear as I'm sewing with it. Okay, put that on the needle. So I'm going to put the mushroom in here just so that I've got something to hold the hole onto. There we go, and I can see it much more easily as well. If my hand was behind it, my hand would be moving and um, trying to figure out what I was doing. But what I will do is come in from above and I will sew into the fabric, but not let it be seen. Just see that very gently moving into the fabric. There. So it's almost like weaving in the ends before I've even started. So that is the start. And I know that that piece of yarn is caught on the underside there. So you can't even see it. Now what I'm going to do is go from edge to edge of this. Almost like a mattress stitch but much looser so that there's still a gap and we're not, we're bringing the gap together but we're not tightening it together. We can do a bit more weaving. feel 
all this just stretching slightly so I'm going to just twist it again put it on my needle and twist it so that single ply doesn't break a bit stronger now it won't break very likely when it's sewn up but it could just break while I'm sewing it because I'm putting a bit more force on it there you go it has broken Look. that's okay I can still use this bit of thread twist it again and keep going so that's brought it together and what I'm going to do just catch those last stitches on the end there and then just weave in and out so it looks a bit like a a large knitting stitch at the moment but I'm just going to weave in and out and yes this isn't knitting I'm not replicating the knit stitch I am now weaving so it's a completely different stitch but it's such a small hole that it's not going to notice and I've done this with um, items with a larger stitch um, a larger stitches as well and it works fine especially in discreet places on the knit where it really doesn't notice that there's been this tiny bit of weaving over a knitted piece of fabric and then as I'm going back down here on the bottom part just catching a couple more stitches actually in the knitwear and then just a bit of fabric because then that's just even more secure I'm going to do that around the edge again there okay now that hole I'm going to say is done and I think the thread is done as well. <laughs> there you go. The thread is had enough. But just as with the original garment, this is going to felt, it's going to settle, and it will all feel very much like it's going to hold forever in a day. I sometimes when I've only got a tiny bit of thread left what I do is weave with the needle first. So I come from the other side. There we go. I weave without the thread on my needle so it's not a problem. There we go. Weaving in the ends. And then I put the thread in there. Now there's a cheats way to make sure this will hold in place even better and it sounds really stupid and dumb but I have done this and I think it works. <laughs> I've held this bit of knitting over a hot cup of tea and just padded it together with my fingers. It's just slightly steaming it so that it holds better. If you want to do that with anything like this, um, especially if it's wool, um, if the fibre is wool, then that will hold it together well. It's just an extra bit of felting. Now, I'm going to sit here and do this other hole, which is much, much smaller. I won't, I hope I won't need all of this, but I have got this much thread, especially if it breaks like the other one did.
so there you go that's the weave on the rib and yes it really doesn't notice I need to um, sit here and actually shave this because there are a few bubbles on it and then I can wear it again but there you go uh, one of my jumpers repaired I hope that it kind of encourages you to just have a go if you haven't got all the equipment if you've got a darning needle if you've got some thread or even the original thread that you knitted a cardigan or jumper with that needs repairing even better um, obviously this is a shop bought jumper but I've repaired my homemade knits my handmade knits in exactly the same way and they've lasted a lot longer so it's certainly worth it and certainly have a go um, the worst thing that can happen is that you mess it up a bit nobody's going to notice and especially with a favourite jumper or a favourite cardigan it can give it another winter's wear it can give it another two winters wear I started repairing one of my cardigans um, like I don't know three years ago and I only recently replaced it so it's certainly certainly worth it especially if it's a favourite if it keeps you the right kind of warm and the right kind of cool <laughs> um, yeah definitely definitely have a go and let me know in the comments if you've ever repaired something like this ever done some darning I'd love to know what it might be that you've repaired and I told you I'm winging it I am using techniques that I learnt about darning socks and just reusing them for repairing other things and any hole will never be the same shape as any other hole so you have to kind of guess what you're doing and just try your best and make sure that the hole isn't going to open up again um, certainly as soon as you finish knitting it as soon as you finish repairing it but know that you can come back if it does open up if you do need to um, refix it do you have more videos on caring for your knits in the intuitive knitting course so if you'd like to have a look at that then I will leave the um, link below. So this gives you some more ideas and more tutorials on how you can care for your knits once you've finished using them and while you're wearing them as well. So they can have many more years wear. <laughs> Hi and welcome. Mm. Hi and welcome to Knit with Hannah. I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Happy knitting.